Like, I want you to go and Google Bishop Rance Allen. I want you to go and YouTube this star, mega star, uh, who has been in ministry 66 years in ministry. On December 1st, he and mom, Lady Ellen Allen, will celebrate 48 years. 48 years in ministry. What has been the glue to keep you all together? Uh, first thing about my wife, she is absolutely my greatest fan. Yeah. She's my greatest fan. Uh, you can ask her about a song I wrote or sang 25 years ago. And she'll pull it up. And I mean, without any wow. notes or she, she just, it's registered. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's... Uh, it's etched in there. Yeah. Now, I heard something during that song. You were hitting some notes. You were... It sounded like Pavarotti. I don't know. Uh, you were hitting some of those oots and those outs. And tell us a little bit about that real quick. We got a few minutes. You know where that to... comes from? Okay. Um, in our church growing up... Okay. Um, we never had the adequate uh, uh, instruments or even uh, voices... And so I always found myself trying to do uh, extra singing, okay, to make the sound full, full, more full. Yeah. So, so that sound has become your trademark. It, yeah. It when is. we hear you singing all over the world, we hear you doing the oots and the ots and the, you know, the different, the, the staccato notes and even those high notes. What, what? How did you get to do those staccato notes? Those, those See, see arpeggios and. I would be singing, and in my mind, I would hear, maybe for instance, a saxophone playing. Wow. And I'm singing. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so that would be my my saxophone. There is only one Rance Allen. My <laughs> God, Lord have mercy. You done blown us away even in there. How have you kept your interest in the gospel music industry, Dad? Uh, you know what? I heard so much about Jesus all my life. Yes, sir. To where even the things that would uh, uh, take your attention away from Jesus... Sure was never able to do that with me because wow. Jesus has always registered as number the one. The pinnacle. Yeah, he's always been the the absolute. And, um, oh, oh, I, uh, I was a great uh, Temptations fan. Yeah. Diana Ross and <laughs> Supreme. Motown. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. of them. Yeah. I was a great fan. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. in some of my early songs, you can hear their music. Okay but the message of Jesus Christ. Uh, so so your, your ministry has been uh, trans, transcended. It goes beyond just a, a normal um, generation. Oh, yeah. uh, we see you moving into this generation mm -hmm. with uh, a known guy by the name of Snoop Dogg. Yes, sir. Yeah, you got a new hit out, has become number one on the charts mm -hmm. in his uh, Bible of Love mm -hmm. CD by mm -hmm. the name of Blessing You Again. Yes, sir. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I was in Chicago getting ready to, uh, me and my brothers, getting mm -hmm. ready to face a crowd of about 10,000 people. And just before going out on stage, I get a phone call, and it's Snoop Dogg's office. Yes, sir. And, uh, but, man, my mind was so on doing the concert that I was there for. Yes, uh, uh, we decided that we would talk on Monday. Okay. And sure enough, yeah, I thought somebody's just, you know, playing with me or whatever. Yes, sir. But on Monday... He I got called. a call. He called. Wow. And uh, he says, Bishop Rance Allen, he said, this is Snoop Dogg. And then he said his real name, yeah, yeah. Uh, Broadus. Mm -hmm. uh, Calvin. Calvin yeah, Broadus. Yeah, yeah. He said his, his real name. He says, I just want you to know that uh, I've listened to you all my life. My God. And he says, uh, the Lord has changed my life. Oh, my goodness. He's turned me around. He says, I'm saved, and I want to tell the world about it. And he says, um, he said to me that if you are going to have anybody uh, of, of stature to help you do that, yes. call Rance Allen. Wow. And so uh, we talked a while, and then uh, uh, I played this song for him. Yes. 
uh, blessing me again that I had written 15 years ago. Wow. He heard about 10 seconds of it, said, I got to have I it. I got to have it on. So your ministry has been so prevalent these many years. God has blessed you. I want you to find a camera and I want you to, to talk to somebody and tell them how good God has been to you in these 70 years. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, I can't uh, begin to really tell it all. Yes, sir. But uh, I, I, I do want you to know uh, just a little bit that I can uh, put my uh, hand on right now. Uh, the Lord has taken care of me even when I couldn't and didn't even know how to take care of myself. And um, down through the years, I mean, at, can you imagine at 10 years old preaching the gospel? 10 years old. God has been good to you. Yes, I am sir. so excited. And here I am at 70. My God, 70 years old to praise God for this mm -hmm. awesome man of God. If you've enjoyed this show today, I'm asking that you would write us, call us at 1-800-232-9855. God bless you. And remember, God loves you and so do we. We're glad you joined us for Radiant Life. Garth and Tina want you to be a partner in this ministry. Please send your best love gift today to TCT, P.O. Box 1010, Marion, Illinois, 62959. In Canada, P.O. Box 1220, Fort Erie, Ontario, L2A 5Y2. This has been a TCT Network production.